let's talk about slugging and vaseline everyone and their mama is talking about slugging and using vaseline and its benefits well i have done slugging and i've used vaseline for one whole week so i'm going to be answering all your questions about vaseline slugging and its benefits so if that seems like something you might want to watch then keep on watching and if you're new here hi my name is matilda and welcome to my channel slugging basically is using petroleum jelly which could be vaseline it could be the cerave healing ointment or anything in between so slugging is just basically using this vaseline let's use vaseline as an example and just rubbing it all over your face and leaving it overnight go to bed with it but i want to tell you guys this slugging is not going to fix all your skincare problems vaseline is an occlusive which means that it seals whatever you put underneath it so if you're going to be using vaseline you have to make sure that you're applying moisturizer underneath it it's going to amplify the effect of the moisturizer most people use vaseline to be able to repair their damaged skin barrier so if you have been using a lot of actives in your skincare routine and your skin is showing signs of damages irritation then using vaseline is going to help to heal your skin so the main purpose of vaseline is just to amplify moisture on your skin and seal the moisturizer you put underneath the vaseline so that the moisturizer is going to stay in place all throughout the night last year i did a video where i used vaseline on my face for one whole week and i documented it and talked about the advantages the disadvantages and the benefits and in that video you guys had a lot of questions so i thought about doing a separate video answering all the questions you guys have about vaseline and slogan since it's trending right now and every Everybody wants to know about it is it gonna perform magic on the skin well I'm here to answer all questions you might have about slugging before you start I use Vaseline a lot look at my Vaseline like it's almost finished to show you guys that I use it so let's talk about the questions you guys have the first question is can I apply vitamin C under Vaseline yes you can so if you watch my other video i talked about how applying vaseline over your skincare will help to amplify whatever skincare you put on that and when you apply vitamin c under vaseline you're not going to have any adverse effects but if you see any adverse effects then you should probably not do it i use scented petroleum jelly is that okay or must it be unscented you can use whatever petroleum jelly that suits you some people have irritated skin like their skin can get sensitive really quickly so using things with fragrance doesn't work well with their skin so if you have that type of sensitive skin that your skin doesn't work well with fragrance in skincare then you should probably stick to petroleum jelly that is unscented not scented but if you don't have any problem then you're good to go can you use vaseline as sunscreen hell no like vaseline is not a substitute for sunscreen sunscreen is here to protect your skin i have a detailed video on sunscreen and everything i'll leave it up here sunscreen is meant to protect your skin from the sun rays vaseline is not going to do that so please do not use vaseline as a substitute for sunscreen do you use olive oil or coconut oil to moisturize we're in 2022 guys we shouldn't still be putting kitchen ingredients on our skin let's not do that let's refrain from that this is a new year guys please i really don't want to believe that you guys are still putting coconut oil and olive oil on your skin guys i've talked about using all these natural ingredients in your skin and how i used it and how it damaged my skin so you can probably check out the video i'll put on the screen let's leave the kitchen ingredients in the kitchen and let's not be putting it on our face olive oil coconut oil please let's not do that especially coconut oil and i know that will contradict a lot of things you might see online people talk about how coconut oil is so good for your skin guys coconut oil is not good for your face because it clogs your pores it is comedogenic which means that it has a very high tendency to clog your pores and when the pores in your skin are clogged it can cause acne rashes irritation and i'm pretty sure you don't want that and if you're using coconut oil on your skin and your skin is okay um good for you but generally it's not good you know there are some people that they can really put dirt on their skin and nothing is going to happen because they're just born with good skin so please don't listen to those people because they might tell you tomorrow that sand is what they use on their skin and they use sand to exfoliate 
and when you do it your skin is going to be damaged so let's not do that so to answer the question no 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 coconut oil does not moisturize coconut oil is not good for your skin i would not recommend you putting raw coconut oil on your skin maybe if it's formulated with a skincare product in low dosages and all that then maybe it's good but raw coconut oil let's use that to cook instead not on our face so guys if you're enjoying this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel please now let's get it back into the video how do you wash vaseline off in the morning properly that's a really good question so when i did vaseline for one whole week on my face i usually cleanse twice because vaseline is thick i mean we all know the texture of vaseline i'm sure everyone knows how vaseline feels i usually cleanse my face twice because of the vaseline residue that will be left on the skin so first of all i take my cleanser lather it up on my hands and wash my face for one minute and i do that as again because of the vaseline but on a normal day i don't cleanse twice i just cleanse once instead of doing cleansing twice you can do it in a way if you have a cleansing balm you can use that first to rub it up so it would remove the vaseline first before you now use a cleanser to cleanse your face so that's how to cleanse your face after using vaseline does it get wiped off while sleeping i sleep on my back will the skin get dehydrated if i use on damp skin without moisturizer okay let's start with the first one does it get wiped off while sleeping i sleep on my back so me personally i sleep on my side so when i did that vaseline experiment at the end of the day like the next morning the vaseline was still on my face because you know i applied a lot of vaseline so even though while you're sleeping some might like rub off the next day there will still be vaseline on your face so if you're sleeping on your back then the vaseline is not going to leave your face because you're sleeping like this so obviously the skin care everything you put on your skin is still going to be maintained so this is the reason why i talked about in this video i put up here why doing your skincare four hours before you go to bed is important i won't talk more about it check out the video you're gonna see everything next one was will the skin get dehydrated if i use it on damp skin without moisturizer the truth is i don't really know but i recommend that you actually use the moisturizer before applying fasting on your skin some people can actually withstand it without moisturizer but the general rule is to apply it on top of moisturizer so let's just do what we're told can i apply vaseline on my body after rubbing my body cream yes you can you can use it after your body cream it's going to really help to seal the body cream in your skin throughout the day and keep you looking shiny if that's what you like what if i use vaseline without anything like without moisturizer just the vaseline would my skin be damaged if I don't use moisturizer? I I think I've answered this question before. Please just use moisturizer. It's moisturizer is good for your skin. Like there's a reason why moisturizer is among the basic things you must include in your skincare routine. Forget about the exfoliating. Forget about the retinol, the acids, and all of that. Your basic skincare routine should be cleansing moisturizing sunscreen every other thing is just additional so when you're putting vaseline please apply moisturizer on that because just applying the vaseline on your face without anything i don't i don't think it's going to be really beneficial for you and it might actually have side effects i haven't tried it before so i can't say but please just apply moisturizer under your vaseline i'm gonna kill you you're gonna see the difference the next day like the glow you're gonna see the glow it's unmatched like it's unmatched can this also work skin treatment on wounds i haven't tried vaseline on my wounds before from what i researched i saw that vaseline is actually good for wounds like if you have injuries wound applying vaseline actually helps to like soothe it and calm it you know normally when you apply vaseline on your face it kind of helps to calm the face when you're having irritation you know so i'm pretty sure it can be used on wounds but don't quote me don't quote me i'm not a dermatologist i'm not an esthetician what if i use vaseline with aloe vera gel at night 
when you say aloe vera gel i mean are you talking about raw aloe vera gel hmm, this question i think aloe vera gel can be used as a moisturizer right you guys should you guys should let me know in the comment section i don't know everything so if you guys know please let me know in the comment section aloe vera gel i think it can be used as a moisturizer so if aloe vera gel can be used as a moisturizer then you can apply it on the nature of our skin so i think that would be a yes right right don't quote me please you guys should let me know in the comment section let's learn together does vaseline work really well as a cleansing balm to remove makeup hell yes that's what i use to remove my makeup that's why you see this vaseline you see this vaseline it's finished because i use it to remove my makeup what i do is i take the vaseline i first of all wet my face take the vaseline massage it into my hands and use it to melt off the makeup then i take a makeup wipe to clean it off or you can take a towel to clean it off then you now go on to wash your face with your cleanser so definitely you can use vaseline as a cleansing balm that's what i personally use so you're good to go nothing has happened to my skin so yes so if you want to go on to do slow game be my guest do it but please do not do it every day because too much of everything is not good so maybe do it thrice a week yes and i think you'll be good to go if you have any more questions leave it in the comment section below and i'll answer it there for you guys so if you want to do slogging go on do slogging you can do slogging with vaseline you can do slogging with CeraVe healing ointment also do slogging with aqua 4 so there are so many different brands you can do slogging with but make sure when you're doing slogging you're taking note of your skin you are really observing your skin to be able to know if it's working well with the vaseline because some people the vaseline might not work for them but some people it might work so please always make sure you're looking at your skin checking for changes so that we're not gonna hear stories later okay thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any other video requests and i'm going to deliver it for you guys thank you guys for hanging out with me if you guys want to see me outside of youtube you can check me out on instagram twitter facebook pinterest tiktok all matilda duku and you can check out my lightroom preset which is at meraki preset so you're gonna see the preset i use to edit my pictures and thumbnails so guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna see you in my next video but first you have to watch the videos i'm gonna put here i'm gonna put the video where i talked about fasting and i applied it for one whole week so you can check it out and see the results and i'll leave my skincare playlist here so please watch my videos and see you guys next week.